Hey everybody, Juan here. We've got another quick tip for the Nokia Lumia 920 on AT&T. Uh, this one won't actually apply to international uh, Lumia 920 owners. This one is specifically for AT&T. As we have been using this device, we've been really happy to see uh, how much LTE is being rolled out. Actually, I don't get LTE in my apartment here. But uh, around Southern California especially, we've been seeing plenty of pockets of LTE popping up on AT&T's network. But this phone is very aggressive in trying to keep a true 4G signal. So there have been plenty of times where when the LTE signal isn't very strong, I get very poor data or there just isn't any LTE and the phone battery is working harder than it needs to, or the phone battery dies faster. For those times, now on the international uh, Lumia 920, you can come to your cellular uh, option in the system settings. And from there, you should be able to toggle whether or not you use 3G or 4G. As you can see, that does not happen on the United States, the uh, AT&T version of the Lumia 920. So this quick tip is for those of you who want to toggle or disable 4G, the LTE radio on the Lumia 920, but I just have to preface, don't jump into this until you've had a chance to watch this entire video because there are just a few concerns about going through this process. This tip is just a little more technical than some of the other quick tips that we've done. So to get into the menu, uh, we're, we need to get into the field test menu. And to do that, we're gonna pull up a dialer and we're going to enter pound, pound, three, two, eight, two, and hit call. And that's gonna bring us to this field test menu. Now, you don't want to mess with any of these settings in the field test menu. You just wanna come down to the options down at the bottom, these three little dots, and you're gonna come into settings down here. Do not mess with this stuff, go down to settings. Once we open settings, we can see what the polling frequency is, we can see what network type we're on, and then we also have a couple other uh, options that we can play with here. I actually haven't seen if there's any significant advantage to changing the polling frequency. At three seconds, I think that's probably fine. I know that used to be a hot tip on the Windows Mobile back in the day. But on the network type, if we tap on this, we can see that there are options for the phone to use 2G only, 3G only, or 4G only. And so this is where we're going to make the adjustment. So if we want to only use AT&T's HSPA+, Plus, um, this is where we're going to tap 3G. The phone is only going to use a 3G signal. It's going to ignore the LTE signal. To make sure that the phone doesn't scan for a better network, we also want to toggle this ENS. That's um, Enhanced Network Search, I believe. Someone down in the comments correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what ENS stands for. And when we tap that to off, uh, the phone is going to require a reboot. I'm actually not going to do it right now because for most of uh, my usage, I can actually find some pretty decent LTE. So I'm going to take this back to automatic. Now there is a concern to doing this modification. Originally, when, let me get back to here. Originally, when we discovered the field test option for disabling LTE, the field test code was pound, pound, three, two, eight, two, pound. So when people were making this alteration, it would, it, these settings stick. You know, there, there, there's not a quick, easy way to toggle it back without going back through field test. So people disabled LTE on their devices. And then during the last update, they changed the field test code to 3282 without the pound at the end, which locked people out of the ability to reset their, their radios. So it kept them stuck on 2G or 3G or whatever option that they had set. So the big concern here is you do not want to do any updates until you have reset this phone to go back to automatic network discovery, network type. Because if you do an update and they change that field test code again, you will be locked out of the ability to alter the field, the field test and the network type radios on this device. Now, it's not a huge concern. You just want to remember, do not flash an update on the AT&T Lumia if you have altered this information in any way until you've reset it back to stock or else you could get locked out of the ability to use features on this phone. So guys, I hope that helps. I know this one was uh, one that was bugging me, especially when I'm traveling with the 920 and I know I'm not going to have any LTE. It's, it's always kind of bugged me that I haven't been able to just turn it off. But now this is how you do it. Now you know. Knowing is half the battle. I'm Juan. This is the Lumia 920. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video.